Good evening, once again, beautiful people, powerful people of the great southern land and beautiful and powerful people of the world, human beings, cosmic children, all of you. Yes, that means you. I'll just wait for a couple of people to jump online. It's Lucas and Star and Dusty Boy. I'll give you a look at Dusty broadcasting live from the Ark Sanctuary. Say hey to Dusty Boy sitting in front of the fire as usual. Living the dream. Keep him warm. Why? Why you must not stay silent? And there's many reasons as to why you must not stay silent. This isn't a plea for, you know asking people to speak this is think of it as a direct order from the divine if you wish to survive the coming time yeah the maxim of law the maxim of law right From um, Latin into English. Quita set consentire videtur. He who is silent is supposed to consent. Let that sink in. All of you watching videos, sharing memes, Sharing information. Great stuff. But. There is a world of difference. And I'm going to explain that. There is a world of difference between. Sharing information on a written Facebook post. Which 99% of people just scroll past. Because they just want to see pictures. Or. They want to see videos. Because they don't have to read. Because most people literally do not have the cognitive capacity to sit, or patience, to sit and scroll through and read more than a few, more than a couple of sentences. In truth. So when you do a video, even if you've never done one before, the importance and the difference of doing a video and doing a post or sharing a post is worlds apart. One, and most importantly, because when you speak through a video like you're watching right now, you feel what I'm saying because you feel what I feel because of the empathy neuron inside your brain. Yep. And you know me. Yep. Through the videos you've seen or through your personal experiences with me. So everything I'm saying has a deeper effect than the writings I post yeah that is the power you have for all the people in your community and on your page yep the time for just um, watching and sharing if you're one who actually has the guts to even hit the share button because a lot of people don't even have the courage because they live in fear they don't have the courage to hit the share button it doesn't cost you any money. It's free to hit the share button. Let me remind you that. It's free. Yep. But you doing a video and speaking is worlds apart from just posting. Okay. A couple more maxims of law. Okay. The silence of a party implies his consent. Qui tacet consentiri. Viditur ubi tractatur de ejus commodo. He who is silent is considered as assenting when his interest is at stake. That interest may be your children or your grandchildren or your health if you care about your health and your well-being and your life. They are all your interests. It may be your 
house. It may be your car. It may be your bank account. Because I know that most people care about those things. But don't worry, they will be gone very soon. Yep. He who is silent is considered as assenting. Your silence to all of what is going on is your consent. Make no mistake about it. Quia non referet aut quis intentionem suam declaret verbis aut rebus ipis vel factis. It is immaterial whether the intention be collected from the words used or the acts done or the omission of acts done. The acts not being done. The words not being spoken. Your intention and your consent is taken from your silence. You are silent because you are scared. Let me ask you, are you more afraid of the government and the quarantine facilities that they will be coming to put you in and your children and the jabs and everything they're doing and spraying and poisoning you with? Are you more afraid of that? Or are you more afraid of using your voice and what other people might think because they have lesser knowledge than you? If you have more knowledge than them, you have a duty to speak to them. Okay? Here's another um, passage of law, another maxim actually. Qui vult discipul decipiatur. Let him who wishes to be deceived be deceived. That is a maxim of law in Admiralty Law. Yep. That is a maxim of law in Admiralty Law that you are under. Your slave contract, your birth certificate is Admiralty Law. That is a maxim, a principle that they rely on. If you wish to be deceived, no problem. We will give you as much rope as you need to hang yourself. We will tell you as many lies as you want to hear to make yourself feel good whilst... We're taking everything from you, including your house, your meat, your food, your car, your bank account, your children, your husband, your wife, your grandparents, yourself. We will take everything from you because you wish to allow yourself to remain to be deceived by the mainstream media lies. That is a maxim of law. Let that sink in. Please share this video as you're watching it. Another maxim of law, and I like this one. Quisquid est contra norman recti et injuria. Whatever is against the rule of right is a wrong. All of the rights that you are surrendering, that you are begging for them to give back to you, that are already yours, you just have to exercise. Yep. Whatever is against your rights is a wrong. Everything they're doing now is wrong because it is against your rights to the right to life, the right to security of the person, the right to liberty, the right to personal liberty. Yep. The right to privacy, the right to freedom of speech. These are all your rights that cannot be taken away, only given away by you because you allow yourself to be deceived. So they let you be deceived. That is the maxim of law. Natural law. Yep. Yeah. If it doesn't rain outside, the grass dies. It doesn't care how it feels about it. 
if it doesn't get the nutrients it needs, it dies. Yep. If you put the wrong things into your body and you stop getting the nutrients you need, you die. Natural law, nature doesn't care about your feelings. It does not care what you believe. It is irrelevant in comparison to truth. Yep. It cares not for your bliss. Okay? Another saying. He who acts badly hates the light. These people out there acting as t in tyranny hate the light. They love the darkness. If you love the light, then stand up for it and fight. Use your God-given voice, yeah? Align your heart with your mind, your Christ consciousness, those two together in harmony, working together. The heart is love, feeling feeling what you know to be true. Your intellect is telling you because you see what's happening around you that it's not right. They come together at your mouth so you can speak the truth. The truth is the word of God. The Christ consciousness resides in you and every single one of us. Every single one of us. But it requires the heart, the mind to align, to come out with truth. We must speak. We do not need to protest. We have one of the most powerful tools being that device that you are watching me on right now in, um, in association with this thing called a mouth and your God-given voice. God gave you all these things so you can use them in time of need. Yep, this is not a time to be silent. This is not a time to be scared. This is a time to stand in truth. Yep, speak the truth. Here's a good one. He who gives an end gives the means to the end. If you have an idea of how to end this, speak it. If you give the end, you show people an end goal and they can work to that end goal. Yep. How do you get out of a situation of darkness? Well, what is darkness? Darkness is just an absence of light. What is light? Light is information. Light is truth. Yep. So if you speak the truth, the darkness or the deception of the darkness and the lies disappear, dissipate. You literally dispel the darkness just by speaking the truth and the light. That is the means to the end. It is that simple. Yep, all you have to do is step over the fear barrier of what other people think. We're in a society where people are controlled and mind manipulated to believe that it's important what other people think. I'm here to tell you, fuck what other people think about what you say. Stand in your truth. Stand in honor and speak real. People in a time of great deception need reality and they resonate with truth because truth is real and it resonates with everything it touches. Okay, here's another one. He who destroys the mean destroys the end. The mean in this case is deception, is lies, is fraud, is darkness. Yep, that is what the media uses to create fear. It is lies and deception. How do you, how do you destroy the means? Yep, to destroy the end goal that they have planned. It is by speaking truth. Yep, you destroy the lie by speaking the truth. That's it. It's it, You don't need to be intelligent. All you need to do is get on and speak what you see and what you feel and be real. Yep, don't need to be a lawyer. You don't need to know legal terms. Use your own terms because that resonates more with most people. Most people that watch my videos have no idea what I'm talking about because they don't understand the language and words I'm saying. Yep, so speak the language that you know and be real, and be vulnerable, and that resonates with people's hearts and minds, and that gives them permission to do the same. This is my third video today, because I understand and comprehend how close we are to the demise of society as we know it, as civilization as we know it. 
Yeah. And let me be clear, the lockdowns and the masks are the least of your problems. They are a drop in the ocean compared to what is planned for you and your children and your grandchildren. Understand and believe what I'm telling you because what I'm telling you is real. Very, very soon is coming a big food shortage. You better be prepared. Yep. Because there will be no compassion for you if you ignore the truth. If you fail to speak the truth while you had the chance to speak it, there will be no compassion and no remorse for you when you have lost that ability. Yep. You will be on your own. Period. You will get to the gates. Did you have the opportunity to speak? Yes. Did you speak? No. You go that way. Why didn't you speak the truth? Why didn't you speak my word when I told you to speak it? Because you were afraid? You wanted to live in fear? Well, that's where all the people who live in fear go. On your way. The gate's closed. Yep. For all those who know what's going on and do not speak, you are directly the problem. Yep. You are the Nazis who said nothing. That is what you are, literally. Yep. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. I don't have time for your feelings or your beliefs. I don't care for your feelings and your beliefs because this is beyond you and this is beyond me. This is biblical. This is apocalyptic. This is bigger than Ben-Hur. This is bigger than football and Dan Andrews and ScoMo. This is bigger than Klaus Schwab. Yep. This is bigger than man. Okay? Here's a couple. Here's a good one. Qui non libere veritatum pronunciat proditor es veritatis. He who does not freely speak the truth is a betrayer of truth. Period. He who does not speak the truth is a betrayer of the truth, period. No excuses. Excuses are like assholes. Everybody has got one. Step out of the fear and be the fucking lion that you were born to be. Because it's in there. I see it in you. You are a lion. You are fierce. You are strong and you are powerful. And all you've got to do is use your voice on that device in your hand. And that is one of the most powerful things. More powerful than protests. Yep. More powerful than letters to corrupt ministers that don't even read them. More powerful than going and standing in front of a corrupt magistrate or judge. More powerful than anything. Because the battle is and always has been for the mind. He who controls the mind controls the battlefield. Psychological Warfare 101. Yep. Here's another good one. And let me say, I don't practice Latin. So here I am reading out these Latin words in front of people, yep, on a public forum when I've never spoken Latin in my life, okay? I'm not afraid and I'm not shy because it needs to be done, right? I don't do these videos because I like the sound of my own voice. I do these videos because there is no other option. There is no more time. There is no more, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. Or we'll just, hopefully it'll get better in a couple of weeks. Yeah, they'll, they'll you know, they'll end the lock. The lockdowns are the last thing of your problems. They are the least of your worries. Forget about the lockdowns. They're a distraction. Yep. The entire system, monetary. Yep. Everything you own. Everything you thought to be real is crashing and crumbling around your very ears and eyes. Speak what you see. Awaken people. 
It's time to awaken people. Yep. Okay, here. Qui non obstat quod obstare potest facere viritore. He who does not prevent a thing which he can prevent is considered to doing it himself. Yep. Passage of law. He who does not prevent a thing which he can prevent is considered as doing it himself. I do these videos because I know stuff and I've got a moral obligation to do these videos. Yep. Doesn't matter if I agree with the depopulation agenda and if I personally want, you know, three quarters of the population to be genocided. That's irrelevant. I've got a moral obligation because of the information I know to do these videos. Not because I enjoy them or because I love all of you people out there that are ignorant that I don't really know or care about. It's because I have a moral obligation in myself and for my children. Yep. For my freedom. Yep. He who is not, he who does not forbid what he is able to prevent is considered to assent. Start denying this tyranny. Start denying. Stop complying. This will continue as long as you comply, period. Yep. Doesn't matter how many people protest or don't protest. Yep. Doesn't, ma doesn't matter if everyone wore masks for the next month and stayed at home for the next month. This will continue. Actually, that would be a good thing to do. Everyone just stay home for the next month. No one go anywhere. Yep. And let's see what happens. We could nick, nick, if this is really about a virus, yep, shut everything down. No essential workers, no, none of that crap, yep. No, no, they get to work and they don't and we have these flights coming in, but you know, fuck all that. Shut everything down for a solid month and let's nip this thing in the butt. There's the best policy and the best way to deal with this if it was about a virus, but it's not. That's not, that doesn't take a politician or a scientist to work out. That's simple math. If it's about a virus, shut everything down for a month, period. And you watch what happens. Nothing will change. You will still be enslaved. Yep. He who does not repel an injury when he can, induces it. Not only is your silence, you know, fear-based and not helping yourself, you are supporting, you are actually allowing this to happen, this genocide. Yep. Again, whether you agree with it or not, whether I agree with it or not, half the time I think it's probably a good thing what's going on. But still I find myself compelled morally to do these videos. Yep. Qui passit nocentibus innocentes punit. He who spares the guilty punishes the innocent. By your silence and by not pointing the finger at these criminals in parliament and these criminals in these order following jobs and telling them and telling everyone else what they're doing, yep, you're punishing the innocent. You are punishing the innocent. Yep. Okay. Because qui non improbat approbiat. He who does not blame approves. Because you are not blaming the perpetrators, you are approving them. Your silence is agreement to their tyranny. Maxim of law under their slave admiralty system. Your silence is approval for their tyranny. Not wearing a mask. If you're wearing a mask and you think you're doing the right thing because that's what they told you, you're actually doing the wrong thing. Your silence and acquiescence is the tyranny. This isn't about me giving a personal judgment. This is what is written in law in their system. This is their belief system. Yep. Yeah? And you know what? It kind of makes sense, yeah?
Seems fair. Yep, if I make you an offer, if I start coming into your house and taking a little bit here and a little bit there and then a little bit more and you say nothing, right, and I like the look of your stuff and I just keep doing it, well, obviously you don't mind because you're not saying anything, so I'll just keep doing it until you've got nothing left because you don't care and I want your stuff. Sweet. Everyone's happy because you didn't say anything. You're silent. And everyone's like, oh... Oh, I'm spiritual in the community, and 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 I just accept everything, and um, and I, I just um, you know, I'm just uh, I just let everything be, cause um, oh, it's just good to be silent. Your silence is acquiescence, and because you're not forbidding this tyranny, you're enforcing it. You're allowing it. Yep. Right, in Canada, right, they have children's vaccine centres popping up in the shopping centres. Children can go in without their parents and get a vax, yep. They can go in and get a vax without their parent, right? And they're getting offered ice creams to do it. Didn't your parents ever teach you not to take candy from strangers? Yep, mine did. But here's the governments over there in Canada, and don't think that we're any different, offering children an ice cream to go in and get a jab. Think of the, what sort of mindset and people do you think you're dealing with? You think these people care about you and your children? You think they care that much about you? That they've got to bribe you with lollies and burgers and beers and lottery tickets and ice creams to come and take this thing that you don't need or want unless you have a suicide wish or never want to be able to procreate again. Yep. They force vaccinate animals, yep, to prime the people's consciousness that it's okay to do this, yep. I'm using the magic word, so let's see how much they... Try and block this video, weak pricks. You see the videos in the USA where they were going around force jabbing disabled people and these disabled people are, are getting held down and they're screaming and crying. Oh, no, no, no. Even they knew what was happening was wrong and they had the courage to use their voice. Yep. While, while 10 adults with guns hold them down and stick a needle full of poison into their body. And then they did it to the disabled kids over there. That's on the video. Literally. And you've got the parent or the guardian holding this poor child down while all these people with guns are standing around, yep, to stick this needle full of poison into their children. What sort of sick fucking parent... Yeah? Allows that to happen. What is wrong with people? Insanity. Child abuse. You don't deserve to be a parent if that's what you're willing to do. Yep. Bring your child here. I'll look after it. Yeah? If you don't have the capacity. Meanwhile, in Australia... They're building more and more quarantine facilities. What do you think they're doing that for? Yeah? Not so they, they're not going to use them. They're building them because they plan to use them. And they're going to use them for every single one of you. Understand and comprehend this. In the UK, they're going around. In the USA, they're talking about passing policies. But in the UK, they're actually doing it. They're just going around to people's homes and removing them. Going, oh, your doctor said that you've got to come and do this. And they're just taking them. Normal people being kidnapped. It's kidnapping on a mass scale. These are massive criminals. Don't think that they're your politicians. They're not politicians. They're career criminals. They are terrorists. Make no mistake. This is not a drill. This is not a theory. This is what's happening in fact, 
and by definition what they are. This isn't my opinion. This is by definition in every single dictionary that you have the fortitude to pick up and read. Yep. So, you're all lions, and your cubs are being attacked, or about to being attacked, or your food supply is going to run out, and your money supply is going to run out. What are you going to do? I don't have the answer for you. You know, I've got someone staying here at the moment, and I was cleaning out the chook pen. Yep, had to get all the shit out of the chook pen and move all the old straw to put fresh stuff in. She's like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to do this job. No, I don't want to do that job. And I'm like, yeah, well, sometimes we've got to do things we don't want to do. So did you see this chook pen? Took me a couple of weeks to build. I didn't want to build it. I would have rather been surfing in Thailand, and I could have been. No problem. But I knew what was coming. So I spent the last couple of years building this place up. Not because I wanted to. Ask my mum. There wasn't a day that went by that I didn't swear and say how much I didn't enjoy it. She bore the brunt of it, poor old mum. And I love her, you know. But ask her about it. We're not doing this stuff because we enjoy it. We're doing it because it's necessary. Yep. Necessary. Needs to be done. Yeah? Not because it makes me feel good and, oh, yeah, you know, it, I mean, it makes me in my bliss and, and, and all that. It's because it is necessary. Yeah? Get that word to sink in. Right? Stand tall and proud. Roar like the lions you are because the hyenas are circling and nibbling at your cubs, yeah? They're cutting off your food supply, yep. They're coming into your domain to take your cubs, yep. I told you three years ago they were going to try and kill you all with this jab, yep. I've been telling you ever since, yep, that they've been trying to poison you with the medication. It's all coming out. None of it's a theory. None of it is a conspiracy theory. None of it. It's all reality and fact. Fact check that. Right? Forget the books. Forget the laws. Forget the policies. Forget the protests. It's all a fraud. All of it. You people united are the law. You are the lions. You are the bears. You are the kookaburras. Yep, you're the emus, you're the kangaroos, yeah? You are it, you are the law, you are natural law, and nothing supersedes natural law. Yep, it all comes down to natural law. And in natural law, you hold the power. Right? Each one, teach one for 28 days. Yep, one person teaches one person. The next day, two people teach two people. The next day, four people teach four people. The next day, eight people teach eight people. Then 16 teach 16. Then 32 teach 32. Then 64 teach 64. Yep, then 128 teach 128, right? Then 256 teach 256, yep. Then 512 teach 512. Then 1024 teach 1024. Then 2048 teach 2048. And then 4000... And 96, teach 4,096, yep. And then it's like uh, 8,184, um, teach 8,184 the next day. And then the next day, 16,000, teach 16,000. And then the next day, 32,000, teaches 32,000. And then the next day, 64,000 teaches 64,000. And then the next day, it's 125,000 teaching 125,000. Then it's 250,000 teaching 250,000. 
Yep. Then it's 500,000 teaching 500,000 in a matter of days. Then it's a million teaching a million. Yep. And in 28 days, you've got 60 million people or 100 million people educated. Literally that simple. Each one, teach one every single day at least. Do your videos, speak. I can't stress the importance of using your voice enough. If you get on after this video, just do a five minute video. It's my first video. Um, you know, I just wanted to talk about what's going on and how I'm feeling about it and what I'm seeing. And use your language and say what you're seeing and what you're feeling. You don't need to be a scientist or a doctor. Sp speak real. Yep. So, apparently there's been a um, supply chain breakdown for the meat. Yep, we knew that was coming. Yeah, we've been telling you that. So, um, all of the stuff, all of it. The, 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 the schools in Canada teaching children that Jesus is bisexual and, and, and genderless and whatever else they're teaching the kids over there. This is literally what they're teaching the kids in Canada. Yep, Jesus isn't bi. Jesus understands natural law that it takes a man and a woman to produce life. Yep, that's natural law. Yep, don't get confused. Natural law is man and woman equals child equals holy trinity, which is life. Yep, that is the, the procreate, the natural um, progression of life. Yep, it's not man and man. It's not woman and woman. Jesus Christ was not bi. Yep, he was a man. He understands the philosophy and the principles of the procreation of life. Okay? All of these things, all of this, all of this stuff is a big show and distraction to distract you from the genocide that's taking place. Okay? Share this video. So, at the end of the day, there is no more time for excuses. There is no more time for fear. They are coming for your children, your grandparents, if they haven't got them already, and your parents and you and your house and your, and your car and your bank account. I know that's going to rattle a few feathers, okay? They're coming for it. Make no mistake. And your food supply. Yep. It's time to realize and to come together in community, okay? You're going to have no option. You don't have any option and you don't have any time. You don't have time to think about it and go, oh, how am I going to do this and how am I going to do that? Just speak. Just get on and speak. Yep. And that's it. Again, there will be no compassion for those who stayed silent when they had the opportunity to speak. There will be no compassion. Let those who wish to be deceived be deceived. Maxim of law. Your silence is your consent. Maxim of law. Okay? He who does not forbid a thing um, promotes it. Maxim of law. Yep. You have the opportunity to speak. Use it. I love you all. I'm ready to go through some comments. Lisa says, get organized people. We need to be self-sufficient. Absolutely. I'm not even angry, Digsy. I'm not angry. This is just energy. This is just real energy. This is raw energy of how it is. I'm not angry. I'm not upset. I'm beyond upset and angry. I don't have any rage. I don't have any ill will to the people promoting these policies or the people acquiescing to it. This is just the reality and the energy that comes with the reality of the situation we're in. There's no anger. Yeah, I'm not upset. I'm fine. I know you hear me, Tariq, mate. Your videos are amazing. Really, really brilliant videos, Tariq. I shared them both, mate. Thank you for doing those. And I look forward to doing a video with you, brother. Adam says those parents are monsters and nothing else. Well, yes, it's unfortunate that they live in a, a state of brainwashed ignorance, but that's where they are. Yep, that's the reality. Yep, doesn't make them bad people or monsters. It just means that they've been brainwashed and controlled their whole life 
to the situation where they are. And that's the reality. That's not derogatory. That's not to have a go at people. That's just what it is. Yep. That's what the media does. It's a brainwashing tool. That's what fluoride in the water does. It subdues people. That's what the high flea towers do. It subdues people. It confuses people. Yep. It disables people. People are literally disabled and poisoned. Yep. Ollie says government equals mind control in Latin. That's right. Um, gubernare. Govern is to control. Um, and mens is the mind, yeah? To control the mind. Government. Control mind. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Ollie. Righteous fury. Not even fury. Again, it's just the energy of what is taking place. This is just real, raw energy. There's no anger. There's no fu um, fury. There's no ill will. This is just what it is. Yep. And we need people to be real and to be raw. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yep. It's actually more natural than suppressing. Yep. It's actually more natural than trying to be something you're not. Just be real. Thank you, Ross. Love to you, brother. Truth is light, Wayne. That's exactly right. Ross says material things are the destruction of the human race. Greed is the destruction of the human race. It's nice to have nice things. There's nothing wrong with having nice things in proportion to what you need, yeah? Nothing wrong with having a fireplace and a, and a cabin and, 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 and things to make life a little bit easier, but only what we need. Yeah. Hey Zoe. Ross says like tell you vision, yeah. Tell live vision, television, tell live vision, tell television programs, tell live vision programs your mind. Yep, that's why they're called programs, because they're literally programming your mind with what they're putting in there. The frequencies they pump out through the screen, yep, subdue the, um, the, the conscious mind, so that everything that comes through your screen, every sound and picture, yep, and they put subliminal pictures in there, goes straight into your subconscious minds and programs your mind. You don't even realize it. Yep, tell live vision programs your mind. Ross says laws are spells, that's right. They're all spells, all of it's spells, all spelling. They use spelling to cast spells, okay? Aaron says, what did I mean they are coming for our children and grandchildren? Exactly what I said. They are coming for your children and your grandchildren, just like they're doing in Canada, yep? They will be pulling them out of the house. Once all you people have the contract tracing, do you understand what that means? That means that they might say they got a hit and they will just come and remove family members from your house based on the app on your phone. If you've got that app, get rid of it. If it's on your phone, get rid of the phone. Yep. One of the best ways to get rid of this is to turn off the phone. Yep. But as we all know, we sort of need these things in this time to communicate, right? But if you go anywhere, leave your phone at home. Never take your phone with you unless it's absolutely necessary. Yep. Leave it at home. They don't know what you they don't need to know what you're doing all the time. Yep. Leave your phone at home. Right? But that's what I meant when I said they're coming for your children and grandchildren is exactly that. The children is the goal. They want your children. Yep. Well they want to get rid of the parents so they can control the children. Yep. And those of us who left will be here to teach the children. And the parents that are gone will have no say. Yep. All out of your control. Haley's collecting seeds. Great idea. <laughs> You're 
welcome Haley. thanks for sharing thank you everyone for sharing if you're watching this as 17 viewers please let me see 17 shares by the time i get off this video please do me that favor so that i can continue doing these videos for you i'm not asking you for money i'm not asking for donations yeah it would be nice to get a place where we could get a team of people together to put together the paperwork if the law's even going to do anything yeah but when it comes to these videos i don't ask for anything except a share that's all i ask for all right so that's it yeah they won't need the phones once they're chipped but um that's coming yeah chips coming so my advice don't worry about protesting use the device right in front of you right now and your god-given voice yeah your christ consciousness that resides in you yep the christ that's coming is not the christ coming out not a man coming out of the clouds the Christ that's coming that they're trying to suppress is the consciousness of mankind and womankind waking up and aligning their heart and their mind with their intentions through their spoken word and waking up the population and them losing control of the population. That is the Christ that they're trying to block. Yep. That's why the Corona, they're trying to block the Corona, the crown. Yep. The consciousness of mankind. And they're trying to use fear to do it. It's all fear to control. Yep, but there's nothing to fear. Yes, we will be building the new earth together. Hey, guys. So that's it. Um, I'll try and keep them as short as possible. I know I rant and their people have got a lot to do and a lot, um, a lot of stuff going on. So please share it. And uh, many blessings, much love. Get on and do a video, please. Even if you just speak about anything, it doesn't even have to be about what's going on. Just get on and do a video and start getting people used to seeing your face, yeah? Make a personal thing, yeah? It might be something nice that, that gets people, um, you know, you might do a, a first video that's um, designed to attract people to come back and watch another one. And then when you've got more people watching, yeah, you start dropping bombs of truth, yeah? But you might just want to start by doing a, a nice friendly video. How's everyone going? How's everyone feeling about what's going on? And um, just just probing and seeing how people are feeling. Yeah, getting people used to start talking about how they're feeling. Yeah, you don't need to tell them anything about the reality of what's going on. Just get on and say, oh, I'm just, you know, I'm just feeling a bit down about this, and I was wondering how everyone else is feeling. Just start probing people and getting them used to speaking. Because most people aren't using their voice. They're too afraid to speak about what's going on, even to their partners or to their family. So just get them used to speaking. It's about priming and grooming them as they come along in their journey. Yep. So thank you for watching. Much love from me, Dusty and Star at the Ark. And we will be on again very soon, I'm sure. Peace out.